morning, good afternoon and good evening. Welcome to Smashing English. Now before we start this video, be sure to subscribe because I make new videos every single week and I don't want you to miss any. So with that said, let's get on with the video. <sighs> So I say thank you for the music, for giving it to me. Boom, 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 boom. Yes, music, the gift that keeps on giving. It is a universal language and music can also be a great way to learn English. Listening to English songs is great for your listening because if you can understand English when it's sung, you will find it so much easier to understand when it's spoken. Let's take a song like I Will Always Love You, Whitney Houston. The first line of that song is If I should stay, I would only be in your way. However, it's sung like this If I should stay, I would only be in your way. Now that's completely different, all right? We've got her going way. She's changing the vowels from just being like the word way to being way. It's confusing, okay? That's really confusing for an English learner. So it's really, really good to get used to listening to English songs because you will train your brain to understand English even when it's being pulled around like this. So today I'm gonna give you three artists who I think are really useful for learning English. And we're also gonna look at some of the song lyrics and see how we can take some lines from those lyrics and use it in our everyday speech. So the first artist I want to introduce you to is Kate Nash, in particular her song Foundations. Now the reason I want to recommend Kate Nash is because she sings with a very clear British accent and actually her songs balance on the edge of being sung and spoken. So they're quite easy to understand if you are an English learner. And her songs are very conversational. So you can take a lot of the lyrics from her music and put them into everyday speech. I will put a warning here. Kate Nash and a lot of other artists do sometimes swear in their songs. So if you are teaching English to a child, just be aware that her songs might have some inappropriate language in it. But if you are an adult, then you should be okay. Okay, so let's look at her song Foundations. Now, I can't play the song because of copyright reasons, but I will sing it. So let me draw your attention to this part in particular. You said I should eat so many lemons, cause I am so bitter. I said I'd rather be with your friends, mate, cause they are much fitter. <laughs> Now this is extremely colloquial British language. So not only is she singing with kind of a cockney twang, which is very difficult to understand, so it's good to get used to hearing that, but she uses words like fitter. Now fit is a slang word used in Britain to mean attractive. So it's usually used by younger people um, to say that person is whew, whew. So he is fit. So this song alone can teach you some slang words that you might hear if you ever travel to Britain or any English speaking country. So what I recommend you do is listen to this song with no lyrics, just listen to it. See how much you can understand. Then listen to it again, see if you hear anything else. Then listen to it with the lyrics and try to follow along, okay? And underline any parts that you don't understand. Look them up and then suddenly you've developed your vocabulary with a fun song. And then once you know what all the lyrics mean, you can listen to it on the way to work, while you're doing the laundry, and it will embed those lines and those sentence structures in your brain. So my first recommendation, Kate Nash. And the next artist I'm going to recommend to you is Ed Sheeran. And again, he sort of dances on the line between he sometimes sings, he sometimes raps, he sometimes speaks, sings. So it's quite easy to understand if you are very used to just listening to English people speak, for example. And the song in particular I want to recommend to you is Perfect. 
It's a really lovely song and the lyrics are slow enough that you can really take time to understand what every word is. So for example, this lyric. When you said you looked a mess, I whispered underneath my breath, but you heard it down and you look perfect tonight. Again, we've got a very common phrase in there. When you said you looked a mess, now that is a very common thing that I say all the time. I'll say, oh, I look a mess today. And that just means, you know, I don't have makeup on, I look a bit scruffy, my hair's not done, I look a mess. So that's a phrase that you can use in everyday conversation. And you've learnt it from listening to a lovely song. And we've even got some past tense in there. I whispered underneath my breath, but you heard it. You know, the past tense of here, heard. It's just good to just really reinforce those past tense verbs through listening to songs like this. And the last artist I'm going to recommend to you is Lily Allen. Again, warning, Lily Allen swears quite a lot in her songs, so don't play them if you have a five-year-old in the room, okay? Just, that's my warning, all right? But Lily Allen is great for conversational English. She uses it all the time in her songs. She writes like she would speak, you know, she doesn't write poetically. I think that's something that I want you to avoid a little bit. If you're listening to music just to learn English, like that's your main reason, then try not to listen to English that's very poetic. You know, while it's beautiful and it's great, if you listen to something like um, My Heart Will Go On. You need for wherever you are, I believe that the heart does go on. No one speaks like that, you know, no native English speakers say, you know, near, far, wherever you are, I believe that the heart does go on. No one talks like that. So it's good to find artists that write how they speak and Lily Allen is one of them. In particular, her song LDN is really great. Let me show you some of the lyrics. There was a little old lady who was walking down the road. She was struggling with bags from Tesco. There were people from the city having lunch in the park. I believe that is called al fresco. Now, if you struggle to pick that up, this is what I said. There was a little old lady, old lady, who was walking down the road and she was struggling with bags from Tesco. Now Tesco is a British supermarket, all right? Very popular here, very common Tesco supermarket. There were people from the city who were eating in the park, okay? So people eating in the park. I believe that is called al fresco. Now, I only learnt the term al fresco from this song. So al fresco dining means to eat outside. That's called al fresco. But it's very conversational the way she sings. You know, she just sings like she's telling a story. You know, there's no poetry or, you know, there's no exaggerations. She's just singing as she would tell the story. So obviously there are tons of artists you can listen to, but they are my recommendations because I really believe that a lot of the time they sing in a way that is useful for learning English. There are some artists that are great, they are wonderful musical artists, but they're quite hard to understand. For example, Adele, you know, so famous, so amazing. However, her style of singing, I think is a lot harder to understand the lyrics. Same with Ariana Grande, you know, she's great, but she's very, you know, you don't really know what she's saying. So it's good to find some artists where you're like, oh, Yes, I know these words, I can pick out those lyrics. So have fun with those songs, listen to them as many times as you need to, to really embed those words into your brain. If you enjoyed this video, then please press subscribe. And down in the description below, there is a link for my Instagram, where I post English learning content. And also, if you want to book a one-on-one -on -one English lesson with me. So thanks again for watching, ta-ta!